accessories are what separate boys from men. But the truth is, gentlemen, all accessories were definitely not created equal in terms of manliness, right? Some accessories make you look super macho, super manly, while others make you look a little more, just, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying, I'm just, actually, we'll get to that in a second. Today, guys, I'm going over 10 accessories that make you look less manly. The first accessory that makes you look less manly, and we're just gonna get this out of the way up front, and that is earrings. Fact, earrings are one of the most polarizing accessories a man can wear, and if you're gonna rock them, just be aware that probably 50% of people that view you are gonna view you as less manly or less masculine because you're rocking earrings. Now, for me, I've been wearing them since I've been in sixth grade, but that being said, when I go into a bank to get a loan or to get a mortgage or I'm going into an important business meeting, or I don't know who the person I'm going to be meeting is, oftentimes I will take them out and leave them in the car because I realize that earrings are very, very polarizing. If you're going to rock them, be aware that people perceive you as less manly. Number two, many bracelets. All right, so here's the deal. I am a huge fan of dudes rocking and experimenting with a bracelet or two, but notice I said two. Two, not three, not four, not five, not 27. The reality is this, guys, bracelets are amazing when it comes to adding style and flair to an outfit, but when you overdo it, it does run the risk of you looking a little bit less, a uh, less manly. Number three is hats. You have to be aware that when you rock a hat like this, it is giving other people the perception that you are younger, that you are youthful, that you are definitely not as reliable and responsible as you may be. Baseball hats also give the impression that you are young. If you're wanting to be perceived as more manly, gentlemen, ditch the baseball hat and definitely do not wear it backwards like this. And don't get me wrong, I love baseball hats, right? There's a time, there's a place. I think that dudes look super cool rocking one, right? Except when you got ears like this, then they don't. All I'm saying is that if you want to be perceived as more manly or more of a man, you definitely want to ditch the hat. The fourth thing that makes you look less manly is your watch. So there are a few things that I want to talk about. Number one is not wearing one. Guys, you got to wear a watch. The reason is pretty simple. Watches, A, are badass and amazing. The other reason is that watches send the subliminal message, you're responsible, that you're reliable. They let the world know, yo mama. I got this. But if you got this, a smartwatch on your wrist, you also do not look as manly as you could. Why? Well, here's the deal. I don't I don't hate smartwatches, but the reality is that when I see a dude and he's rocking a smartwatch, I automatically think he's a little bit less manly and more youthful. Smartwatches look more youthful, in my opinion, as opposed to something like this sweet-ass watch from today's video sponsor, Movement. The reality is this, guys. Mechanical watches, automatic watches, watches with hands, with straps, with faces, that don't actually blink and send you text messages are perceived as more manly. Check it out. This is from the new Legacy Slim collection from Movement, right? It's got that beautiful rich brown strap. It's got that black face and that rose gold case, which I absolutely love that matches with my new ring. So what I love about this watch so much is that super sleek, simple design. Guys, watches don't have to be big and overstated all the time. Something clean and simple and minimal like this is absolutely a showstopper. But if you're somebody who wants a little more robust of a watch, you gotta check out this. This is from their Minimal Sport Collection, all right? It's a little bit bigger of a watch, but I absolutely love it, all right? That brass case is killer. The matte black face, the rotating bezel, right? And that black strap is nuts. Check it out. This is from the Element collection that Movement has. It's got that matte black case. It's murdered out. That black matte strap, guys. This one is so ridiculously sexy. But if you're into simple, minimal, clean, a little bit more rugged, what about this? This is from the Field collection. I love this watch. It also starts at under $100. These watches are so sick. Gentlemen, if you haven't checked out Movement, now is the time because that link is going to take you to our special page where you're not only going to be able to shop all of the beautiful badass designs and find one that you absolutely love, you're also going to get a crazy deal because that link is special. That landing page is going to give you an even better deal on an already amazingly priced product because that's the thing you're going to notice about movement. Not only are the watches super beautiful, super cool, and stylish, they are priced right. Gentlemen, hit the link, grab a watch, grab two, grab three today to look and feel more manly. The fifth accessory that makes you or whoever's wearing them look less manly is one of these. 
How these things ever got popular, I have no, no, I have no idea. But the fact is, if you are rocking one of these, all right, this is even like less manly than a regular backpack. And I've seen some backpacks that absolutely are pretty terrible in terms of manliness. What's that? It's sick. Yeah, I know it is pretty sick. But here's here's the deal, gentlemen. This is all about being perceived as more manly. And if you're rocking a backpack like this, or God forbid, the little string number, you are definitely not being perceived as manly as you could and should. Be. The truth, you want the truth? Alright, I'm gonna give you the truth. A cross body bag, something like this, is going to be perceived as more adult, more grown up, and a bit more stylish. But the truth is that if you are somebody that needs to walk a lot, you definitely do not want to rock one of these because the backpack is going to be better and more sparing on your back. But that being said, there is a big difference between wearing something like this and something like this that is a little bit more subdued and definitely going to be a little bit more mature in terms of the way that it looks. You can also find some great backpacks in leather. Number six is a wallet that looks like this or this. The wallets are one of the most overlooked accessories that a man needs to pay attention to. Guys, if your wallet is big and fat and has every receipt and discount card and social security card and 27 like store credit, gentlemen, it is too much. What I would recommend is invest in some type of slim minimal wallet right these are perfect because you put in there only what you need one or two cards your id a little cash and then it fits nicely and cleanly in your front pocket number seven is actually an accessory that you're not wearing which is a belt if you're not wearing a belt gentlemen you automatically look less manly why because your pants are hanging off your ass and ass hanging pants are definitely not manly nothing makes you look younger and more youthful and like yo mama i don't give a shit like when your pants are hanging off your ass a belt also is an incredible way to help finish an outfit and make you look better number eight is a skinny tie Ew. In my opinion, there's nothing that makes a dude look more youthful and less manly like when he's rocking a skinny tie. Gentlemen, skinny ties are out. They're not popular anymore. They're also not stylish. Instead of rocking something like this, you should rock something like this. A little bit more substantial, a little more manly. The only thing that makes you look less manly is wearing a ton of rings. So in my super humble, not so humble opinion, I'm a firm believer that you should only wear one ring per hand, all right? What drives me absolutely crazy is when I see dudes and he's like yo if one ring looks super badass i'm gonna wear like six of them right he's rocking a thumb ring a pinky ring a middle finger god forbid an index finger ring <laughs> i'm kidding I don't, I don't know which finger is actually worse what i recommend guys go simple go subtle if you want to wear a more manly looking ring definitely go with something a little bit more robust not too crazy not too flamboyant a signet ring in my opinion is a great option but a simple subtle band is also a great idea right but rocking 20 seven of them not amazing and last but certainly not least the tenth accessory that makes you look less manly is facial piercing so once again this comes down to personal preference but you just got to be aware that if you were somebody that has a bunch of shit in his face other than his ears you definitely are not perceived as super manly and while we're at it we're gonna throw in belly button ring <laughs> right because i've seen some dudes with belly button rings i'm like look at look at that isn't isn't that cute a manly but cute gentlemen the deal is this if you were rocking a bunch of crap in your face people once again just like earrings are going to perceive you as maybe less than like super mature and manly uh and by less i mean super just taught just tossing it out there do with it what you want gentlemen it's up to you i'm not saying not to do the things that i talk about actually i kind of am gentlemen that's it 10 accessories that make you look less man in my opinion, actually humble, <laughs> that's humble opinion. Humble, very, very, very humble. Speaking of humble, I think you're amazing.